What's happening dogs? Mr. Allen here with some solving of equations for x. But in this video, we're going to be dealing with some special situations here because in every problem, we don't always just get a single solution for x. There's some weird things that can happen. So check this out, all right? I'm going to combine my like terms on the left, on the right as needed, just like normal, right? So I'm going to get 2x plus 2 equals 2x plus 1. Now, if I subtract 2x from this side, got to do it to this side, right? And I end up with just 2 equals 1. What? I'm pretty sure, right? I don't have my calculator. Usually I have my calculator on me. But I'm pretty sure that 2 does not equal 1, right? That is not true. This is no solution. Okay. So when, when we have all of our variables cancel out and we're left with an untrue statement, 2 most definitely does not equal one. We are gonna say no solution for this one, all right? Next one over here. I gotta distribute first, right? Distribute the 12. So I'm gonna get uh, 12x, oh boy, 12 times six, we had 72, plus 72 equals 12x. Uh-oh, we got 12x on each side, right? I think we can see here, again, from the last problem, that if I subtract 12x on both sides, I'm gonna get 72 equals zero, and I'm pretty dang sure that 72 does not equal zero. So once again, no solution. You may be able to tell, you know, earlier on in the problem, like when you see this, you're like, I see the same coefficient for my variables, I've combined my like terms, it's not gonna work out well, right? Let's still show it to the very end and say, does not equal, therefore no solution, right? Your teachers will be looking for that kind of work in a problem like this. All right, next one here. We've got Three X plus seven, nothing to do on this side. Over here, we got a little cleaning up to do. So I'm gonna go three X plus seven equals, we got four X minus X. Okay, so that's gonna be what, three X, right? That's like a negative one X there, four X, negative one X as the three X. And then I've got three plus four here, that's gonna give me seven. Ooh, I have the same thing on each side, right? Anything I plug in for X here, I have to plug in here. So we are going to have infinitely many solutions, right? Or we can even say, actually, how about all real numbers? I'm gonna go with all real numbers. I feel like that's actually a little bit better, right? That is infinitely many solutions, but really in this situation, it's all real numbers. I can plug anything I want in for X and it is going to work, all right? Well, you see this phrase of infinitely many solutions come up in systems of equations once you start learning that. That's kind of like a safer way to write it, but truthfully, it's all real numbers for this one, and really they can accept either one here in this situation. All right, next one. Let's go with, uh, how about orange? Okay, so over here I've got some distributing to do. I gotta distribute that two in. So I'm gonna have six plus two X minus two equals two X plus four. All right, um, let's combine some like terms. We got two X, six minus two is positive four, right? They're on the same side of the equal sign, so it's not like I have to like subtract them or anything like that. I'm just combining them, okay? Six, negative two, that's four. And I get again, two X plus four, woo! Now, if you wanted to go a little further here and like be like, oh, minus two X, minus two X, look, they cancel and four equals four. It's a true statement. Personally, I would stop before that, but if your teacher wants you to go to this step, go for it. And once again, we're gonna have all real numbers. All right, so we have all real Numbers, or like we said before, infinitely many solutions also works. I would go with whatever your teacher's going with. There's a couple different ways to write this situation here. Here, no solution, that's pretty much it. You could do the power move of no solution. Boom, right? It's, it's a baller move right there. Um, that's what that means, right? You also may even know, may have seen this one, the double R, X equals all real numbers. Oh, dang. I have that as a tattoo. Not really. See you guys later.